What is up, all of my hot sauce homies? Welcome back. Today I am sporting Maestro Sauce Co. It's like I'm wearing a little tuxedo. <laughs> it's been a minute. Okay, welcome back. This is who I'm sporting today, but it is not who are we, who are we, who we are. That's it. Reviewing because today we are moving down the line of less spicy shock. Yes, we've been swimming with the fishes for a hot minute. Uh, but today we are moving on to the two hottest in the lineup, the Megalodon and the Hamagata. <laughs> I'm so excited, aren't you? So we started out with the most flavorful, the Nurse Shark. We've moved on to the Thresher Shark, the original shark, Caribbean Reef Shark, Tiger Shark. And now we're on to the Megalodon and the Hamagata. And why I'm doing both in one video, I don't know. But it's very clear that the hot sauce and the peppers have taken control of my sanity. And it's really becoming a full-on out addiction. So, as you can see, uh, here on both of these bottles, we have a Wicked Hot. Oh, yay. <laughs> and we have an Extreme Heat. <laughs> Double yay. Um, I've been prepping for this moment. I'm going to shake them up well. I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't know why I'm doing these both in the same video. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know if I was. So, <clears throat> I look a little bit like a rabbi today. It was not my intention. It is what happened. Uh, I'm self-aware. It's okay. Everything's fine. I'm stalling. I'm not going to do that today. Today, I'm going to be a big girl. I'm going to be a big girl, and I'm going to swim with the big guys. Okay, so we're going to start with Megalodon, Carolina Reaper. That's a mean-looking shark on that bad mama jamma. All right, let's see what do they say. Eat the heat, savor the flavor. The Megalodon was imposing enough to give dinosaurs nightmares in its day. This five alarm sauce has a sweet cherry start with the blazing finish of the Carolina Reaper pepper. Okay. Goes great with burgers, grilled meat, seafood, eggs, and any dish in need of flavor and heat. Shake before use. We have done that. Thank you. Refrigerate after opening. Relax. Separation is natural. Okay. Vegan, gluten-free ingredients made in the USA. Wonderful job of hitting all the important points. All right. What are the ingredients? This looks... Let's check it out. Apple cider, sour cherry juice, Onion, red wine vinegar, poblano pepper, pineapple, scorpion pepper. I like scorpion peppers. Water, garlic, beets. They always have that one ingredient in there that has me going. Arr! Okay, beets. I hear you. Carolina Reaper pepper, molasses, avocado. What? Avocado. Uh, <laughs> maple syrup, ginger salt, white vinegar, seasonings. Ooh, secret seasonings. Fruit pectin, hibiscus, and spices. Okay. And it's wicked hot. On a scale of five fins, we got a full five. So without further ado, we're going to sample it. We're going to take my spoon. It's my double bit. It's my, my big, big spoon that I got uh, down yonder from the big lots in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Uh, you go on down there, get yourself one of these bad mama jammas. Uh, it, it, it's pretty cheap. You can get like a pack of 30 for about $8. Now you go on telling them that Katie sent you and they might be nice enough to give you a discount. You never know. You never know. All right. So I'm not going to stall anymore. We're going to try the Megalodon. Okay. <sighs> Come on, babe. Take it off. Sorry. I'm second thought. Just keep it on. Keep it on. Okay. This, I'm imagining this is going to be hotter than 40 hells. I'm a big girl. I'm KTB Saucy. Get it? Katie Bannister, KTB, KTB, whatever. All right. So it's a darker sauce. I can definitely see the flecks of pepper in there. Uh, one thing that I always need to mention, the Daddy Shark, the maker of the Spicy Shark, before he started making hot sauces, he was in the beer brewing world for like 10 years. So he definitely understands the beauty of a brew and has taken all that knowledge from making beer and brought it to the, so the hot sauce world. And truly, there are a lot of ingredients in the sauces, but they're absolutely delicious. 
and in a very small amount of time, the Spicy Shark has overtaken the internet, taking the hot sauce world by storm, and really, I don't think it has much to do with marketing as it does word of mouth and how damn good these things are. So, I say that before this shark bites my face off, but, all right. Okay, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. I can do it, we can do it. Oh, I can smell it. I smell a reaper right off the bat. There's a little bit of a smokiness to it. Oh my gosh. It's, it does have a smokiness to it. But I smell those reapers, boy, that comes right out. So, I don't know what I can do. Let me, let's just talk about it a little bit more. Why do we have to do everything? So, why do we have to rush into everything? Why do we have to rush into everything? Okay, 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 here we go. Here we go, it's gonna shake it again. Just wanna make sure it's good and shaken. Yeah, definitely smell the reaper, smell the smokiness. Let's see what kind of pour we have. Beautiful as always. Oh my gosh, very well blended, mixed, smooth. Seems like it has a creaminess. A lot of their sauces have had banana, as in minions, as in a banana, and it's given the sauce a really nice airy uh, consistency that I totally loved and dug, and I wonder if the avocado is going to do that with this one. Uh, let's see if we can taste anything other than our own blood. Mmm, sweet. Do not be fooled. I'm waiting. Very sweet. Sweetness from the cherry, definitely. It's starting to come up now. It's burning. It's biting now. It's coming in there. The uh, delightful burn of the Reaper. Uh, it's sweet. The <laughs> My husband's laughing at me in the background. It was smooth. It's so good that my eyes are experiencing it as well. I think I'm going to hiccup, but maybe not. It's not too bad. It's not bad. Actually, actually... I don't know if that was a mini stroke. No, we're good. It's actually really good. It's really sweet, very spicy. It's definitely a Carolina Reaper sauce. Now I'm not going to lie to you, but it is a lot sweeter than I was expecting. I was expecting a little bit of a sour, or, or sorry, expecting a little bit of tartness, sourness from the cherry. Not so much. Um, and it does have that smooth velvety texture that I've really come to love from them. Uh, yeah, I totally give it a, a few stars. I don't know. I don't do those ranking systems. Maybe I should. How do I rank this? We'll say it's like a, 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 a seven of ten. Yeah. Not my favorite by them, but definitely good. Yeah, the burn's not too long. There's a sweetness. There's a saltiness. There's a garlickiness, but it's just a hint. It's just a little bit. Mostly, I would say that it's nice. It's sweet. It's smooth. It's airy. It's hot, but it's good. Damn it, boys. I'm telling you now, I'm giving you the God's honest truth that I ever told it. They're in a bad sauce in this bunch. Straight up and down. This is delicious, and I've been recovering from COVID. I haven't been able to taste a lot, and so I really wanted things super spicy lately, so I feel like I'm really experiencing my food. That one's really, really freaking good. Nice, smooth burn. It is definitely a Carolina Reaper burn, but it ain't gonna kill nobody. Well, I mean, maybe somebody, but not this person today. So you have tried, but I don't, dinosaurs might fear you, but this, this girl have to try harder than that. So insert this thing here. Huh. Six fin Siri. Hamagata. And that is a mean looking mutant on the cover there. I don't know why I decided to do two of these. Maybe I should, I should. Maybe I should extinguish first. Give me, uh, do I? Mm. Part of my pride says no. Okay, so let's just go ahead, move on to the Six Fin series. Let's just read about it first, okay. There we go. Eat the heat, savor the flavor. Half hammerhead shark, half alligator, the Hamagata is the inaugural mythical creature of the Six Fin series. With a Southern-inspired base, now you're speaking my language, 
We add traditional Cajun seasoning and a hint of smoke. This sauce features the scorching heat of the Louisiana born seven pot Primo, which is a pepper, with a New England accent. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe I do want my palate to clean out for this one. Shrimp, crawfish, gumbo, jambalaya, po' boys, dirty rice, meat, poultry, tacos, tempeh, and anything in need of flavor and heat. <sighs> okay, you have my attention. Shake before use, refrigerate after opening. We got all that. Okay, let's read the ingredients. They ain't playing around. Ingredients, first and foremost, scorpion pepper. Okay. Vinegar, onion, roasted red pepper. I like red peppers being in sauces. <sighs> oh, God. Okay, we're good. I ain't scared. Water, salt, citric, citric acid, molasses, water, garlic, celery, habanero pepper, pineapple juice, banana. Banana. Yeah, I told you. They use that one. I like that sort of signature. Tomato, almond flour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sunflower oil, Carolina Reaper pepper. Why we got to do that? You already done the seven pot. What you trying to do here? Ah. Okay. Carolina Reaper pepper. Seven pot primo pepper. Chocolate chili powder, which is cacao nibs, chili, juniper berry, allspice, maple syrup, seasoning, liquid smoke, paprika, salt, coffee puree, and spices. Contains tree nuts, which would be the almonds. So keep that in mind. Extreme heat. I don't think I've ever had a seven pot anything ever. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. I'm gonna have such a great time reviewing this. I need some water. Mm. Okay. Okay. We're gonna have such a great review today. <laughs> It said it had Carolina Reaper and Seven Pot. It said it had Carolina Reaper and Seven Pot. It said it had Carolina Reaper and Seven Pot. I'm just trying to get uh, the burn off of my tongue. You know, really, I bet I've heard that, like, humans have almost kimono dragon style mouths with all the bacteria and stuff that can grow in there. And I swear, some of these hot sauces, mine's got to be one of the cleanest mouths, mouths there is in the land. I can't imagine any bacteria wanting to live in here no more. I just can't. No more. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I, I wanted to take a minute. Not because I'm a bitch. No. But because, see, I haven't tasted it. I haven't tried it. I haven't opened it. But I did want to make sure that my mouth was completely extinguished and prepared for this moment. Uh, no sense in adding gasoline to an already burning fire. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to put it out a little bit before we kept going. Hmm. So again, lovely sauce. Absolutely delicious. Hell of, a, hell of a kick, but I like it. It's good. It really is good. Lingers a bit, but it's Carolina Reaper. It is what it is. It is what it does. And now here's this terrifying monstrosity. God, the things I do for kicks, <laughs> like for real, just the things I do for kicks. All right, thank y'all for spicing up my life. I gotta tell you that, that is the God's honest truth. Okay. Oh, let's look at the consistency first. Very similar to the last, a little bit thicker. I think it's the, the banana in there. Um, it does have a thicker consistency, but it's very minced up, much like the last. Uh, the last was a sweeter sauce. This I'm expecting it. It's, you're, you're giving me Creole vibes, which I'm really down with. I love seafood. I love bayou food. I love smoky. I love spicy. I love it. So let's see what we got. Liquid smoke immediately. First thing I smell out the gate. Liquid smoke. And then of course the peppers. Oh God, I'm scared. Guys, we're in it together. We're in it together, right? Did I shake this thing? I don't know. I can't think anymore. My anxiety's starting to get the best of me. Okay, I shook it. I don't know why I shook it. Okay, make it more. Okay. And like all of this, 
sauce is starting to settle like the center eye of a storm. Okay. The pour is thicker than the last. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Now. Oh, my God. I love it. That's my jam. That is my jam. Holy crap, it's hot. But that flavor, oh, salty, garlicky, that's a blast. Oh, I love it. I love it. I was scared. Ooh, I'm going to wait. I was about to go back for two. I have control issues. Uh, I don't have much. Do I want to go back? I was expecting that to be a hell of a lot hotter. Am I being cocky? Time shall tell. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, my God, yes. Seafood, a must. Sandwiches, everything. 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 Oh, I love you. I've been so scared of you, you big nasty. Oh, I thought this was going to be something scary. You're just a big old softy. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, life change. That's going to not last long. That's robust. That's hearty. That is good. That right there. Ooh. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's a really good sauce. Ooh. I'm going to do it one more time. I know I'm going to regret it, but I can't help myself. Absolutely delicious. Spicy shark. You've done it again. So I would say my, my first favorite in their hot sauce series, the mild one, the jalapeno nurse shark, absolutely delicious. Very mild heat, incredible flavor. And then all the way to the other end of the spectrum, second favorite or equally first favorite. Much hotter, much spicier. Oh, but this flavor is to die for. I love it. Absolutely love it. Well, guys, not going to ram ramble on any longer. I'm not going to do what everyone thinks I'm going to do, which is keep talking. I'm going to go. So God bless y'all. Take care and please go check out the spicy shark because I'm telling you these sauces are bomb. See you later. Bye.